All right, I wanna welcome everyone to our live Saturday morning presentation. You should all be able to see my screen. Again, if anyone, if you can't, just uh, go ahead and unmute yourself and let me know. But you should see the power of antioxidants. And uh, I've got a lot of information for you today, but what I'm going to do is, it's information I've pulled from several different health articles that I've written. Uh, I'm not going to go through all the information. I will make this PDF available to everyone. So for the people who really want to dive deep into this aspect of antioxidants and what are called free radical and free radical damage, uh, there's a lot of information in this PDF for you to read. Um, I'm going to skim through the first half of this to give you the important points because I want to get to... Uh, the important part, which are the synergy products that are very powerful antioxidants that can help us with what's called free radical damage. And I have this image, I, I really like this image. <clears throat> I have descriptions for what you see going on below this image, but rather than read the description, let me just tell you. On the left, you can see a free radical. What a free radical is, is it's a molecule that's missing one outer electron. And when it misses that electron, it's unstable. And so it's going to seek to stabilize itself. And what it's going to do, it's going to steal an electron from another molecule. And when it does that, it stabilizes itself, but it makes the molecule that it steals the electron from unstable. So it creates a new free radical. And then that free radical goes because it's unstable, it wants to stabilize itself, so it steals an electron from another molecule to stabilize itself, which then creates another free radical. And you get this cascading effect until finally the last place where it steals is the cell membrane. It'll, it'll pull an electron off of a cell membrane, which then stabilizes the free radical, but it causes damage to the membrane. And that basically, is the theory of aging, and it's also what creates most diseases, inflammation, cardiovascular diseases, all type cancers, all types of different diseases. Now, an antioxidant is another molecule. And, another, and this antioxidant, what it does is it donates an electron from its outer orbit, which can then stabilize a free radical. Now, you would think that when it lets go of that electron from its outer orbit, it would then become an unstable free radical. <clears throat> and the beauty of an, of an antioxidant is that it can freely give away its outer electron without becoming unstable. So in nature, antioxidants are protective molecules that freely give away their outer electron, which then stables the free radicals which are things that actually destroy stuff in nature. So this are, there's this interesting balance between free radicals and antioxidants. Now, what does it mean to you as a human person? Well, if you're eating foods and if you're doing activities that are creating a large amount of free radicals within your system, then what you're doing is you're causing the potential for cellular damage and what's called the theory of aging. I'll get to that in just a second. And if you don't consume foods that are high in antioxidants, then you're going to see the aging process accelerate. If you consume a lot of foods that are high in antioxidants, then you can begin to protect yourself from this free radical damage. So in this PDF that I'm going to share with you that I'll make available on Tuesday, you have the definition of what a free radical is. You have the definition of, of an antioxidant. And again, I've given you that information. And this leads me to the, to the free radical theory of aging. Dr. Denham Harmon, back in 1954, when he was at the University of California at Berkeley, he is the person who formulated this concept, this idea, which is now the accepted theory on aging of what's called free radical damage. And I just wanna quote from him. Quote, free radical reactions are involved in aging. There are two major aspects to it. One is that you can decrease the rate of free radical reaction by decreasing the rate of initiation of the chemical reaction. And or two, you can slow the decrease in the propagation phase, 
with antioxidants that might be possible to increase the lifespan. Now, again, uh, that's what I call um, scientific talk, which makes it hard for people to understand. But basically what he's saying, there's two ways to deal with free radicals. Reduce the reduce the situations where the chemical reactions that go on in your body can cause free radicals or increase your 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 body's ability to harness the powers of antioxidant or what i would say would be a third thing that you could do is again choose foods that are not going to cause free radicals within your body or to reduce the amount of free radicals and choose foods that are high in antioxidants so that you have the best of both worlds, that you have sources of foods that you're eating that will help when those foods are chemically processed in your body to reduce the amount of free radical, the potential for free radicals. And at the same time, the foods that you're eating are extremely high in antioxidants. Now, when we look at antioxidants, the three most common ones that people typically know about are vitamin E, which is the most fat abundant soluble, uh, soluble vitamin, vitamin C, which is the most abundant water soluble vitamin. So vitamin E is a powerful antioxidant. It's a fat soluble uh, vitamin. Vitamin C is a powerful antioxidant. It's a water soluble. So the difference between the two of them is that vitamin E can can hang around longer in your body because it's fat soluble, whereas vitamin C, because it's water soluble, is going to wash out of your system faster. That's why if you take a large amount of vitamin C at one time, you'll most likely see that your urine turns bright yellow when you go to the bathroom. And that's because your body can't absorb all of it because it's water soluble. So it's flushed out through, your, your kidneys take it out and it's flushed out through your urine. Now there's another one that's extremely powerful antioxidant, it's called beta carotene. Uh, beta carotene is what gives you know, um, carrots their color. And the nice thing about beta carotene is that it's a precursor to vitamin A. And a lot of times people, if you look at, uh, People in the nutrition industry, you know, they'll steer you away from <clears throat> sources from with vitamin A because it's a fat soluble vitamin, and there is a toxicity level to vitamin A. But see, this is why you want to choose beta carotene because beta carotene is a precursor to vitamin A, and as a precursor, that means that the body can convert beta carotene into vitamin A as it needs vitamin A. And the nice thing about beta carotene as beta carotene, it's water soluble, which means that your body's not going, if you over consume the beta carotene, again, it will be flushed out to your body through its, your urine. And so you don't have to worry about any toxicity effect because your body will convert that beta carotene to vitamin A. Now, when we go down through this, there's also other powerful antioxidants. And some of these antioxidants are much more powerful than what you see in vitamin E, C, or beta carotene. So you've got what's called anthocyanidins. Again, I've got it highlighted here. It can provide up to 50 times the protection of vitamin E and 10 times the protection of vitamin C. So although these three here are typically the go-to antioxidants that a lot of people look at, there's other ones that are much more powerful as antioxidants than vitamin C and vitamin E. Coenzyme Q10. Uh, again, uh, you wouldn't necessarily put that into the category of an antioxidant, but it is a very powerful antioxidant that helps to stop free radical damage. Flavonoids. Polyphenols. Uh, again, we've talked a little bit about polyphenols with regards to some of the ingredients that are in the ProArts 9 Plus. Extremely powerful antioxidant. Zinc. Zinc is a very is a mineral, and through its chemical functions in terms of how it interacts with um, enzymes, it is a very useful 
ingredient in the prevention of fat oxidation. Now, the other area where you're going to get antioxidants is from plant-based nutrition. So there's a whole bunch of different ones. There's bilberry and there's bing cherries. There's blueberries, and I want to stop with blueberries because there's a lot of studies that have been done on blueberries. And as you can see by the highlighted information, the USDA Human Nutrition Center ranked blueberries as the number one anti-aging oxidant over 40 fruits and vegetables tested. You know, this is one of the reasons why I throw blueberries into my morning shake every day is because I know that blueberries have very powerful antioxidant properties. You can see Brazilian acai. Well, we're going to come back to this as one of the products that Synergy Worldwide has, which again is a very powerful antioxidant. I've got highlighted. It contains 10 to 30 times the antho the antho cyanins of red wine. Well, we go back up to this anthocyanins, and what does that tell us? Those anthocyanidins can provide up to 50 times the protection of vitamin E and 10 times the protection of vitamin C. You know, that makes Brazilian acai an extremely powerful antioxidant. And then you have cranberry and elderberry and guava and green tea and kiwi fruit, and lyceum, and mangosteen, oranges, passion fruit, and then we come to pomegranate. The total antioxidant activity of polyphenols from pomegranate juice was measured three times higher than red wine and green tea. So again, pomegranate fruit concentrate, which is in our pro Plus, not only helps to enhance the enzymatic activity of the endothelium, the enzymes of the endothelium to produce higher levels of nitric oxide, but it is a powerful antioxidant. Pumpkin, red cord grape, red and concord grapes, red raspberry. Again, there, there's so many things that are very powerful antioxidants that you'll find in fruits and vegetables. And so much of it has to do with the color, the pigmentation of the vegetable. So if you're going to consume vegetables and fruits, kind of a general guideline is that yellow and orange foods, such as sweet potatoes, carrots, pumpkins, mango, corn, melon, they all contain carotenoids, which may help reduce the risk for cancer. Green vegetables like spinach and broccoli, they're high in lutein. To help keep vision sharp. And then they all contain chlorof chlorophyll, which has powerful detoxific detoxification properties to assist your liver in cleansing your body. And then you have the blue and purple foods. And again, the deeper the color of the skin, the higher the antioxidant property of that fruit or vegetable. And I, I see a lot of times when people eat apples, they'll, they'll uh, peel the skin of the apple off and then just eat the fleshy part. Well, it's the skin of the apple that contains the highest percentage of antioxidants. And the redder the apple, the deeper its color of the skin, the higher the antioxidant property of that apple. So, you know, Again, we want, to, we want to consume the skin of the fruit or vegetable because they're typically extremely high in antioxidants. And then you have the red foods and the white foods that all, again, have different varying aspects of antioxidants and other good chemicals that help to protect you from different types of diseases or disease processes. Now, I share all this information with you and I went through it fairly quickly because I want to get to the Synergy products. And I want to set up the basis of why these Synergy products are so valuable as antioxidants. And the first one we're going to come to is Mystica. To me, Mystica, there, there's two products in Synergy Worldwide that I believe are extremely powerful products for antioxidant for for getting antioxidants into your system to help protect you from free radical damage 
And the first one is Mystica. And the second one is going to be the metabolic LDL. But first, let's look at Mystica. Here is the, as you can see on the right-hand side, the supplemental facts for it. And look at the proprietary blend. You've got rape, red grapefruit concentrate, Concord grapefruit concentrate, acai fruit concentrate, build blueberry fruit concentrate, red raspberry fruit concentrate, raspberry fruit, cranberry fruit, bill, uh, blueberry fruit, lyceum fruit extract, elderberry fruit extract, bilberry fruit extract, pomegranate fruit extract, decaffeinated green tea, and grape seed extract. Every one of those ingredients in the proprietary blend have huge antioxidant properties. Uh, if you go back up here and look at this list of, of foods that we looked at, fruits and vegetables, there's bilberry. That's in the Mystica. There's blueberry. It's in Mystica. Brazilian acai. It's in Mystica. Cranberry, did I, I don't remember if it was in there. Let's see if it is. Yes, there's cranberry fruit. So that's in Mystica. You've got elderberry, it's in Mystica. Green tea, it's in Mystica. Lyceum, it's in Mystica. Pomegranate, it's in Mystica. The red and Concord grapes, it's in Mystica. Red raspberry, it's in Mystica. Some of the most powerful fruits and vegetables from their antioxidant standpoint are all part of this product called Mystica. This is, to me, one of the most significant antioxidant drinks in the marketplace. And if you have a person who's looking to increase their antioxidant intake, this is the product that you want to encourage them to consume and use on a regular basis. Now the other, well, before I go any farther, uh, I'm gonna give you a link to an article, a website that I, I don't maintain anymore. It's still up on the internet. But if you click on this, and I'll show you where you're gonna go to it, you're gonna go to this article on my original, when I first got started, to brand myself, I, I brand myself with the title of Aging No More, and I put up a website, and although I don't maintain this website anymore, meaning that I don't, I don't bother to correct anything on the information, I've got links that don't work, and I've got, uh, uh, I just don't bother to do any additional work in terms of maintaining this website. And you can see this is the original bottle label for Mystica, but what you will find here are stuff that we no longer, or should say Synergy no longer shares. There, they did a study on Mystica. And the person who did the study was Dr. Norman Sheely. He actually analyzed Mystica, compared it to other antioxidant drinks, and he was so impressed with Mystica that he made some significant statements about this product and its ability to fight free radical damage and even to the point where he made the statement that Mystica has been clinically proven to reduce free radical damage by as much as 43%. That's huge. This is very powerful. And then when they did the study, again, they were comparing Mystica to other leading uh, antioxidant drinks in the network marketing industry. And again, you can see how Mystica compared to six other products that are that were at that point in time i don't know if some of these are still around but at the time that they did the study these were the leading antioxidant drinks in the network marketing industry and you can see how mystica compared to these other drinks you can see from the anthocyanin comparison no one in the industry came even close to mystica when you looked at orac comparison orac is what's called oxygen radical absorption capacity. It's just a fancy way of saying what is the antioxidant activity of that ingredient. The higher the ORAC score, the greater its antioxidant activity. And you can see that there was only one product in the, in the 
uh, network marketing industry with an antioxidant drink that even came close to the Mystica. And then when it came to total Ketchikan's comparison, again, those are biologically active compounds found in plants that impart antioxidant properties. Again, there was only one other product that came close to what Mystica could do. And then from the phenolics comparison, uh, again, you can see that there were other ones in the industry that came close, but no one was as powerful in this area as Mystica. This is, again, just a, an extremely powerful antioxidant drink. It is the go-to one that you want to choose if you've got a person, yourself or others, that are looking to get antioxidant protection. Now, the other product from Synergy Worldwide that is a very powerful antioxidant is metabolic LDL. Now, when we market metabolic LDL, we typically market it for people who are looking for a natural alternative to address cholesterol issues. And the reason for that is because it uses bergamot fruit, orange fruit extract. And in bergamot, there is an enzyme that, or there is an ingredient that helps your body not produce cholesterol. You know, we don't have time in today's presentation to go through that whole process. Uh, but, you know, your, your liver, there's a pathway that your liver takes. Your liver basically produces cholesterol within your body. And the way that statin drugs work is they interfere with that pathway. Well, that pathway in your body that the liver uses to create cholesterol, that same pathway also creates coenzyme Q10. So statin drugs interfere at the beginning of the pathway, which then causes your liver to produce less cholesterol, but it also then interferes with your liver's ability to produce coenzyme Q10, which is extremely important for heart health. Well, the bergamot fruit extract works down the pathway where it just interferes with the liver's ability to produce cholesterol. So it's a natural way for a person to get a handle on their cholesterol issues. But what they found when they built this product is they found that when they combined the bergamot fruit extract with a proprietary blend of nine different fruits and vegetables, not only did the bergamot extract work better, but also the antioxidant properties of those nine different fruits and vegetables also worked better. And together, metabolic LDL is a powerful antioxidant product, supplement. Uh, as you can see from the proprietary blend, it's got apple fruit extract, turmeric root, green tea leaf, grape seed extract, mangosteen, grape skin extract, olive leaf, blueberry fruit, and capsicum fruit. So there's several ingredients that are in this formulation that were up on that list that I showed you at the beginning of our presentation. And I, again, this, this product, if you're looking for, for antioxidant protection, is just an outstanding product because every one of those ingredients in the proprietary blend have extremely high ORAC values to them, and that when they're combined together with the bergamot, their ORAC scores are even higher in their ability to address free radical damage. And again, free radical damage is something that we want to limit in our body, and metabolic LDL is just an excellent product for doing that. Now, as we go on, <clears throat> there's some other products that are in the Synergy lineup that could act as good antioxidant supplements. They're not going to be as powerful as metabolic LDL or as Mystica, but they would be other candidates that if a person's using them, then one of the side benefits is they're getting some additional antioxidant protection from free radical damage, Biome DTX. If you look at the proprietary blend for, 
for Biome DTX, you can see that there's things in there like apple fruit fiber. And then if you go down, you've got broccoli flour. You've got copper chlorophyllin. You've got apple fruit extract, green tea leaf extract, carrot root, red beet root. And then you've got tomato fruit and you've got uh, grape seed extract. And then if you go back up here, you can see that the mineral zinc is also part of this formulation. So we, we've talked in, in previous Saturday presentations about how significant the biome DTX is in helping people to detox, pull out heavy metals, begin the process of resetting gut health, uh, helping the healthy bacteria get the kinds of food and, and nourishment that they need to thrive, and at the same time be able to reduce the bad bacteria. And again, L-glutamine, which aids in healing uh, a, what's called a leaky gut. So it's a great product for helping a person to reset their gut health but at the same time, that product is also helping people from an antioxidant standpoint to protect them from free radical damage. Pro Arts 9 Plus, you know, we've done plenty of seminars on Saturday with regards to our product of choice for nitric oxide therapy is Pro Arts 9 Plus. And as you can see in the proprietary blend, the third ingredient, and depending upon uh, which one that you're looking at, like if you look at the grape, if you looked at the, uh, the supplemental facts for grape, there would be no xylitol in the grape, and you would see pomegranate fruit concentrate listed second. And in pomegranate fruit concentrate, uh, again, is important for the enzymes of the endothelium to help them function better to produce higher levels of nitric oxide but pomegranate fruit juice concentrate is also a very powerful antioxidant. So is the grape skin extract, very powerful antioxidant. The red grape polyphenol extract, again, a very powerful antioxidant. And going back to the studies that were done on metabolic LDL, one of the things that was done in the study on metabolic LDL is that it's clinically proven to prevent the oxidation of low-density lipoprotein, specifically very low-density lipoprotein. Well, oxidation is free radical damage. And metabolic LDL helps to prevent the oxidation or free radical damage done to low-density lipoprotein. Why is that important? Is because the oxidized LDL is what causes inflammation of the vascular system that leads to plaque formation. And if you can prevent the oxidation of LDL, you can help to prevent plaque formation from occurring in the vascular system. Metabolic LDL is very, it is clinically proven to prevent that. And so is ProArts 9 Plus. It's clinically proven to prevent vascular inflammation. It does it in two specific ways. One of those ways is it helps to prevent the oxidation of very low-density lipoprotein or LDL cholesterol. So uh, pro Plus, one of the side benefits to its main function, which is to create nitric oxide to optimize your body's ability to use the endothelial pathway for the creation of nitric oxide, a side benefit of Proagen Plus is that it is a powerful antioxidant that can help to protect your vascular system from free radical damage, specific oxidation of low-density lipoprotein or LDL cholesterol. Now, I threw E9 in here because E9 is an energy drink. But if you look at E9, in its ingredients, you also see that it has several things that could help from an antioxidant standpoint. First one up here is vitamin C, 300 milligrams. 
you know, 333% of the recommended daily allowance that the government tells us that we need for vitamin C. And then if you go down into this proprietary blend, you can see that there's green tea leaf extract that's part of this. And uh, there's uh, acai berry concentrate. So there's a couple other ingredients that are part of the E9 that, again, provide some antioxidant benefits from taking this product. Now, again, what is the primary purpose of E9? E9 is designed as a natural energy drink to help your body naturally produce energy over a long period of time without the crash and burn that you would find with most other types of energy drinks that are in the marketplace. And a side benefit of a person taking E9 is that they're helping to bring into their system some effective antioxidants that could help them and protect them from free radical damage. And then there's two other products that we have here, essential greens and liquid chlorophyll. Well, why are they here? Well, the liquid chlorophyll is here because of chlorophyll. Again, one of the things that I highlighted in the information at the first half of our presentation was the importance of green plant-based nutrition because of the chlorophyll that's in green plants and the benefit of chlorophyll in helping to protect the body from free radical damage. So you have that in here. Uh, and then when you begin to look at the essential greens, you know, by itself, I have a hard time with the taste of it. But if you combine the essential green and throw a packet of that in your morning shake, the other ingredients of your morning shake will hide the taste of the essential greens and you can bring in some really powerful antioxidants that are part of the makeup of the proprietary blend that, are, that is essential greens. So uh, two other products that can significantly help people benefit from antioxidant protection. And when I look at the liquid chlorophyll, I've said this many times in the past, I'll say it again, liquid chlorophyll is one of the most cost-effective ways that you can do to improve your health. You know, I, I'm, I, I'm sitting here at my desk, and although I've already had my morning shake, I have a glass of liquid chlorophyll sitting on my desk because it's an easy way for me to hydrate myself and at the same time get all the benefits of chlorophyll into my system. And then you've got... Uh, Coenzyme Q10, you know, you wouldn't think of that as a powerful antioxidant, but again, from the information I shared at the beginning, it is a powerful antioxidant, and we have a product in, Pro or in, in Synergy Worldwide, CoQ10, specifically designed for heart health, but does have antioxidant benefits to it. And then I just, I wasn't sure if vitamin D3 would be considered to be an antioxidant. So one of the things I did this morning in preparation for today's presentation is I just did a Google search. Is vitamin D3 an antioxidant? And uh, it's controversial. So the role of vitamin D as an antioxidant, there's some studies that show yes, there's some studies that show no. And, and these are fairly recent studies. You can see 2018, 2019, 2017. So the outcome of whether vitamin D3 is a powerful antioxidant or not is still up for debate. But we all know from our presentation a couple of weeks ago, the power of vitamin D in your bloodstream to organize and communicate and, and help your to organize and help your immune system to communicate so it does a better job uh, helping the immune system to go after things that don't belong in your body and, and protect the things that do belong in your body. So it's, again, you know, we're not going to rehash what we did on that Saturday, but vitamin D is an extremely important uh, ingredient to have, and you need vitamin D3 because it's the easiest thing the body can use to convert the vitamin D in the body. And then the last one is there's, a, there's an ingredient in the biome balance called berberine. 
And again, I was interested to see if berberine would be considered to be an antioxidant. So I did a quick Google search, is berberine, or berberine an antioxidant? And the information that I got back is, yeah, it is. It's an antioxidant and inflammatory ingredient. So uh, there's a lot of, berberine has a lot of health benefits, especially with regards to your gut health. But it's nice to know that this product also, in addition to helping the reset your microbiome, can also be a very effective product to bring antioxidants into your system. So a rehash, before we open this up, is when you're looking at the Synergy products, the two products that are the go-to products for anyone that's looking for antioxidants to address free radical damage, Mystica and metabolic LDL. And then there's other products that can provide antioxidant protection, but their main focus, Biome DTX, Resetting Gut Health, Progeny Plus, it's our product of choice for the creation of nitric oxide to harness the benefits of nitric oxide therapy. If you're looking for energy, you've got E9, which also gives you some antioxidant benefits. You've got your essential greens and liquid chlorophyll, which again, provide antioxidant benefits. You've got coenzyme Q10 for heart health, which also has antioxidant benefits. Potentially vitamin D, but we all know that we need to get our vitamin D levels in our bloodstream up. And so if you're not doing pro 9 Plus, then you definitely need to be taking the chewable vitamin D3. And then another product that if you're looking to reset your gut health, Biome Balance is a great product for doing that through the berberine, but it also is a good, powerful antioxidant. So with that said, let's open this up. Do I have anyone that has any questions or comments? Uh, you're all muted, so you're going to have to unmute yourself. And this is our time for taking any questions or comments with regards to any of the information that I've shared with you today. Good morning, Dan. This is David. How are you? Good, David. And yourself? Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you for the presentation. Yeah, as always, it's just so packed full of information. It's uh, it's just uh, great to to not only hear about new stuff, but uh, reinforces what we already know. I did have a question though. There's a lot of uh, <clears throat> when you were talking about the apples and and the fact that, that a lot of people take the skin off in order to take advantage. You know, to, I guess to get to like the skin, and, and the skin has the, a lot of the properties that we want. What do you say to people that say, I take the skin off because I want to get rid of the oils or the pesticides or the things like that, and, and they don't want to, uh, that's the reason why they don't want to consume the skin? Scrub your apple. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just scrub your apple. And, so, and so what the, ingredients? They'll, they'll take the, the wax right? off, and, and you know, you, if you're worried about your apple, then get organic apples, and then you don't have to worry about it. Okay. But if you don't get organic apple, would you recommend they use regular uh, dishwashing detergents to scrub them and just rinse them off real good? Or Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Go light on the dish, ter dish detergent. But yes, just scrub, just scrub the apple, you know. And, and again, there's, there's not all that much price difference between, you know, organic apples and, and regular apples. So, Okay. I had a second question, Dan. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, do you, there's a lot of the products that, that you mentioned that, you know, of course I take, but some of them I avoid simply because of the taste. So it's interesting that you were mentioning about mixing things. Uh, two of them are the essential greens and the biome DTX, which for whatever reason, I, I just can't get used to. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you take it? How, how do you take it so that you can, uh, um, let's say, uh, cover up the taste of it? Sure. So, so for me, the way that I cover up the taste of the, well, I, I personally don't think the Biome DTX is all that bad in terms of taste, but the way that I do the Biome DTX is I put one stick in my morning shake. So all the other ingredients that I have in the shake will completely cover the taste of the Biome DTX. And, and although I don't use the essential greens, my, I do that for my wife. I put essential greens in her shake because she likes bananas in her shake and I don't like bananas. So I make hers a little bit different than mine and I put the essential greens into her shake and you can't tell the taste of it. 
the other way that I hide the taste of the Biome DTX is in the afternoons, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll have like three quarters of a glass of liquid chlorophyll. I'll take a stick of Biome DTX, add it to the liquid chlorophyll glass, and then I'll also throw a stick of E9 and then stir that stuff up. And then I just drink that over about a 30 minute period. And what it does is it gives me then twice a day where I'm bringing in biome DTX because I'm a firm believer that the healthier your gut microbiome is, the healthier your immune system is going to be. And then, so I do the biome DTX twice a day. And then I also throw the E9 onto it because then it helps pick my energy up in the afternoon into the evening. And it doesn't keep me awake at night, but it gives me good energy late afternoon, early part of the evening, and I get another uh, round of the Biome DTX. Does that make Thank sense? So much. Yep, yep. You, you've answered my question. Thank you. I appreciate it, Dan. You're welcome. Hey, Dan. How you doing? This is Edgar. Hey, Edgar. How are you? All is well. All is well. Dan, you did an outstanding job in the presentation. Uh, you um, gave, gave us so much information, so many things to look at. Um, my question is, how do you determine which, which product to recommend um, to, the, to the customer? Um, you know, do we, you know, depend on whether or not he's trying to get more energy, you would recommend E9, or are you trying to, um, you know, help your gut, your gut so you recommend the, the DTX? Or you know, how do you determine um, which, which product to recommend to the customer so they can get the full effects and be satisfied? So good question, Edgar, and you basically have a answered your question. I would just talk with my customer and find out what their health needs are. And, and I would base my PROC recommendation upon their health needs. So if I'm talking to a client and they're looking to address their high blood pressure or they've got diabetic complications or, you know, for men, ED issues, um, definitely nitric oxide therapy and our product of choice is ProArch 9+. Plus. Uh, if they've got some weight management issues, then I would go to uh, the Biome Core Kit where they're using the Biome DTX, they're using the Biome Actives, and they're using the Biome Shake to reset their gut health. Uh, so, you know, it really depends upon what they're trying. If they're, if they're an athlete and they're looking to improve their workouts and performance, then I'm going to suggest to them the Pro Arts 9 Plus first, but if they want, you know, then I would ask them, are you using any energy drinks? And if they indicated to me, yes, they are, then I would say, well, here, I'm going to recommend that you stop using those energy drinks, save your money on them, and you need to combine your pro arginine with what's called E9. E9 is a natural energy drink that uses guarana, so you're not going to have, you know, the same caffeine jittery effects that you get from those other drinks that you're using and you're not going to have any crash and burn. It's going to be more cost effective. But I, I tell you that if you combine that E9 with pro and plus together, take it 45 minutes prior to your workout. When you get in to do your actual workout, you're going to see a tremendous difference in energy. You're going to be able to lift more, you're going to be able to work at a higher intensity in your workout. You won't get the lactic acid buildup. You'll recover quicker, and you'll have, again, just better energy. So that's how I would set that up. Again, ask my client what are their health goals, know my procs and Synergy Worldwide well enough so that I can suggest the primary product that will address their health needs. And then like on the athlete, a simple question. You know, I would, I would highly recommend that you take advantage of the power of nitric oxide therapy. Our product of choice is pro Plus to maximize your nitric oxide uh, production. But let me ask you a question. Are you using any energy drinks to help you out? And if they indicate yes, then that sets up the E9, and they're already spending money on energy drinks. Now all they're doing is transferring their money expenditure from one energy drink to another and you can then combine those two to give them even better results does that make right. sense hey, there you go dan i appreciate it. it makes a lot of sense great good. good question edgar 
Uh, I've got one here in the chat box from Betsy. Does one flavor of Proarginine Plus have more antioxidant power than the others? Uh, Betsy, I don't know. I don't know if they've ever tested that. Uh, you know, you say, I was wondering if maybe the grape flavor, potentially, because it has grape flavor, so it gives one other ingredient that would maybe have slightly more antioxidant benefits, but I, I don't know the answer to that. I would just say that they're all the same because all the, all the primary ingredients are the same for all of them except for their low glycemic sweetening system. That is the basic difference between the three of them. Anyone else have any questions or comments before we say goodbye? Hello, Dan, it's Donald. Yes, Donald, and then I'll, then I'll take Dr. Brooks. I'm sorry. That's okay, go, Donald, you go first, and then we'll go to Dr. Brooks. Thanks. Um, again, excellent presentation. Um, and um, in response to Edgar's question, we've got the, the, the leaky gut, um, the leaky gut syndrome um, flyer, which kind of points to the direction as to what the the person's body um, needs. In fact, we've got two. So you want to just briefly touch on those? I'm well, sure. I, I, I would, but I can't. For some reason, I got uh, something happened to all my websites yesterday, so they're all down. And uh, and I, I can't. I can't in fact, go. I'm noticing that I'm uh, looking at the. I'm trying to get to the or family. Right. Uh, or synergy I, family. I'm, I'm, and I don't think of, that it's working because again we had. Oops, I'm in the wrong category here. Let me switch over here. Totally on. Totally understood. So I yeah I, I can't show that yeah see the, the I I've got a ticket into my hosting company because my, all my websites have something, I don't know what happened, but all the websites, some of them are down completely, some of them are interfaced with the wrong information. Uh, so until they, yeah. until they fix it, I can't show that. Yeah, but you know, on, on both sides, you've got the, you know, the, um, the bloating, food allergies, food sensitivities, and on the other side, you've got, the use of antibiotics, sugar consumption, and that kind of stuff. Right. But that's where that's where that. Um, yeah, it's in, it's in the resource page. Yes, yeah, so it is in the resource page. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Dan. You're welcome, Donald. Good question, Edgar. Dr. Brooks, did you have a question or comment? Yeah, I've got a little comment on the uh, addressing the situation with the chemicals on the outside of the fruits and vegetables. You can soak them in. Uh, baking soda and water soaks for about 15 minutes and then just rinse them off baking soda and water and water uh -huh. okay so that's a pretty easy thing uh what like one one teaspoon one tablespoon or how much do you use right. well if you uh say you got an apple you want to put it in a uh, say a quart of water then you can put about a tablespoon Okay, thank you. That's good to know. There you go, David. Another way of doing things. I just get organic apples. It's so much easier. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Dr. Brooks. Anyone else with any comments or suggestions or questions before we say goodbye? All right, I wanna thank you for your time this morning. Hopefully this was beneficial. Uh, this PDF with all the information, I skimmed through a lot of the first half. You can read it if you're interested. Uh, I'll give a link to this PDF on the Tuesday newsletter that goes out. Plus, we're recording today's presentation, and that will also go out on Tuesday's newsletter. And then I'll make a note here to also include the link that Donald was talking about, because by that time, my website had better be restored, uh, to... Uh, the PDF that we have, which helps you to identify a person's health concern, and then which of the Synergy products would best match up to that health concerns. So I'll make sure that there's a link to that PDF that is also in the Tuesday newsletter. Thank you, everyone. Have a blessed and weekend. Dan, just quickly, um, oh. link to the Elite Health 
um, the elite health potential, unlock, unlock your potential. That also has the, the columns for each of the products. Thanks, Dan. You're welcome, Donald. Thank you. Thank you, Donald. Thank you, Dan. Appreciate it. Thank You're welcome. You great presentation again. Thank you. Yeah, loved it. Loved it. Great. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye now. Bye now. Bye now.